Full of energy and political will to fight in upcoming elections, Rehan Zeb was no stranger to the authorities. The 30-year-old had been detained during a crackdown on members of the Pakistan Tahrik e Insaf Party, or PTI. He continued to campaign and said he wasn't afraid of death. He was from Bajur that borders Afghanistan and is a key operating ground for the Pakistani Taliban. Al Jazeera spoke with him last year. We spent almost 20 years, almost 30 years under war and terror. That is not acceptable furthermore because we, we youth want uh, jobs, we want education. Almost very alarming figure of the education literacy rate, just 20% just of the male literacy and just 5% of women literacy rate. We are already living in the darkness. Instead of providing education and basic facility, they provide us bombing. Six months after that interview, he was gunned down in broad daylight by unknown assassins. His father spoke at his funeral prayer. What was my son's crime? To fight for a cause? For his people? His funeral was attended by hundreds of people, shocked and angry. They took their anger out on Pakistan's military, staging protests and voicing their dissent. The military establishment has increasingly been blamed for a crackdown on Khan's party. His videos now gaining even more traction online after his death. Every child will become a leader in Bajur. You are the leaders. Don't call yourself political workers. You are leaders. Call yourself leaders. Authorities have told Al Jazeera they are investigating the killing, but no arrests have been made. Imran Khan still remains one of the most popular politicians in the country, despite being in jail. His party members have borne the brunt of the crackdown. Some have been barred from standing, others have seen their family members targeted. Their symbol of a cricket bat removed from the ballot paper. Their posters and campaign materials torn down from the streets. 120 million people are eligible to vote in this election, making Pakistan one of the largest democracies in the world. But what has happened in the run-up is raising questions about how fair they will be. Asal Beg, Al Jazeera, Lahore, Pakistan. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.